to build an outdoor movie theater part two, the projector. You built the screen with part one of Howcast series. Now all you need is the projector and the red carpet. Okay, maybe not the red carpet. You will need a digital projector, a laptop or DVD player, computer speakers with a subwoofer, stereo with auxiliary ports, or an amplifier with speakers, component video cable, RCA cable, VGA, DVI, or HDMI cable, a VGA, DVI, or HDMI adapter for Max, mini stereo or mini stereo to RCA cable, a flat surface, speaker wire, an extension cord, a power strip, popcorn, and a movie. Optional, a digital camera, and tape, blankets, or rugs. Step one, find a digital projector to fit your needs. Take into consideration cost, picture quality, and how often you'll use it. Look for projectors that track lamp life and have more than 600 hours of life left. A projector with a lens shift feature lets you adjust the image without moving the projector. Step two, pick a video source. Laptops can screen a variety of file types. If screenings will rely only on DVDs, use a home DVD player. If you plan on renting HD downloads, look into an HDCP compatible projector, which prevents digital content from being copied. Step three, choose an audio source. If you already have desktop computer speakers with a subwoofer or a stereo with auxiliary inputs, use one of those. For a louder, more professional setup, get an amplifier with the appropriate speakers. Step four, get connecting cables. If you're using a DVD player, use a component video cable to connect the projector and an RCA cable to connect to the sound system. For a laptop, use a VGA, DVI, or HDMI cable, plus an adapter if you have a Mac, to connect to the projector, and a mini stereo or mini stereo to RCA cable to connect the audio. If you're confused about which cables to get, take pictures of the inputs and outputs on each of the devices and get help at an electronics store. Step five. Set up the projector 10 to 15 feet from the screen on a table or other flat surface that's slightly taller than the height of the bottom of the screen. Make sure there's enough room for your audio and video sources. Step six, connect the video source to the projector and the audio source. If necessary, place speakers in the desired locations and connect them to the amplifier with speaker wire. Run an extension cord from the nearest power source to a power strip and plug the components in. Tape loose cords and wires to the ground or put blankets or rugs over them to reduce tripping hazards. Step seven, turn on the devices for a practice run before showtime. If you're using a laptop, select an auxiliary screen by pressing one of the function keys, often F5 or F7, depending on your model. Adjust the focus and experiment with different distances between the screen and the projector to get the largest, sharpest image. Step eight, wait until dark, then, Pop some popcorn, put on a movie, and enjoy the fruits of your labor with friends and family. Did you know? The private movie theater in the White House, for use by the first family, was converted from a cloakroom in 1942.